I was 10 years old, uh, living with my parents in Epsom. My father was a member of the Peace Council. He used to take me to the meetings of the Peace Council, which was highly unusual, you know, for a 10-year-old kid <laughs> to be going to these meetings. And of course it would all go over my head except for one meeting. And at this meeting a film was shown. It's a film that was made recreating uh, the bombing of Hiroshima. It had a, a, a very profound effect on me. Fast forward a little to 1959 and my parents took me to the Auckland City Art Gallery where they were going to be seeing the Hiroshima panels. I was too scared to go to go and look and um, begged my parents not to have to look. Um, so I never got to see the Hiroshima panels, but as time went by, I harboured this growing desire to, to go and see them. I m made friends with a Japanese woman who introduced me to her other friends, Japanese friends in Masterton, one of whom was Junko Bracefield. She got to know that of my interest in Japan and of going to you know, visit Hiroshima. So she said to me, well, you know, every year I take a group, group of schoolgirls. Why don't you just tag along? So I grabbed that chance <laughs> and off I went. And that was in 2018. And so that's how I got to meet Taiko, Taiko Ogawa. We were taken to, to visit this um, local artist in a village um, on the outskirts of Hatsukaichi city. She had studied the art of calligraphy at Kyoto University. She described herself to me as a painter who worked with words. Uh, having graduated, she wanted to take her art into a more contemporary mode of expression. And when I saw her work and the incredible vigor, passion, movement, that she was able to express, I, I immediately sort of sensed a wonderful possibility of working together. I was interested in creating sort of architectural spaces and so I took that idea into, um, into the working drawings that I was doing and sharing with Taiko and then took them up full scale and created six panel paintings on paper, which I then took to Japan, where they were completed and where Taiko was going to be um, painting on them. Heading on to 2019, in July of 2019, I'm back in Japan again with Junko. Off we go to Hatsukaichi, where I stayed for one week, working with Taiko in her village. I had been in touch with uh, a Japanese artisan, his name is Yoshishige, Yoshishige-san. He makes, he does folding screens and he makes hanging scrolls, that's, that's his craft, that's his incredible skill. So he uh, and his son Kentaro, they, they constructed the screen and in Yoshishige-san's workshop he had the screen lying flat on the ground and he just left Taiko to paint. She took to heart what I had said to her, which was, Taiko, I have created a space and you are absolutely free to inhabit it with your words. And this proverb has four words, he, sho, fu, ni. It's, it's saying that us human beings and the environment are all one. It, it speaks to the coherence, the unity of all things. And so looking at this now and seeing the contrast between the, you know, the linear structural framework of what I did as compared to that incredibly vibrant, active impression you get from her painted words. Painting is all about contrast, and so is life. I like to think that this work expresses that concept.